Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Thank you for joining me for another of the Distress Ink and Oxide colour combination videos. We are looking at Villainous Potion today. Now typically you'd think Villainous Potion is a Halloween colour and it did come out for Halloween. It's a deep dark purple but of course it can be used for lots of other occasions as well. So we are going to be comparing it to other colours in the Distress Ink and Oxide range using my colour chart that you can download and fill in at home if you wish completely for free. That is linked down in the description along with with links to the other things that I have on my website as well and that's the labels that you can use on your brushes and on your ink pads and also the um, complete at a glance chart too this one is filled in for you so you can just print that off in color and pin that on your craft room wall so first of all let's swatch this in onto white cardstock and a blending mat also things like the ink pads where I purchased mine from um, the brushes the blending mat they are all linked below for you too because I get a lot of questions about um, where I get them and also the cardstock that I use to blend onto also that is linked below too but essentially any sort of smooth white cardstock that's a good weight and will hold the uh, ink will be fine you just want it to be smooth ideally because that you that way you get the best blend okay so blending this onto the cardstock I'm using blending brushes that's my preference rather than foams but of course you could do this with foams if you're pretty handy with them I just find br blending brushes suit me better so look how dark and gorgeous and luxurious that is it kind of reminds me of here in the UK we've got chocolate wrapper that is this deep dark purple it's yummy now I always feel that the label isn't too far off but the actual swatch the actual blending the ink is ever so slightly warmer not quite as dark as the label shows now on the distress ink and oxide labels you have got the deep dark color the solid color down in the left hand corner and up in the top right hand corner in the middle is everywhere where it's mixed with water because of course oxides are water reactive and these are all the different shades that you can get um, where or tones and shades that you can get when you are mixing them but if you want the solid color take a look in the corners there so it's not too far off and looking at the ink pad you can see how juicy that is again looks a little bit darker this is ever so slightly lighter because it's such a dark color and I'm going to be doing my tonal color combination first I'm going to just clean that and pop that over onto the dry side and I'm just cleaning it with water kitchen towel I only use the water if I think I've got too much to get on there I'll try to wipe it off with a dry towel if I can because I don't want to leave water on my mat because of course that is water reactive now let's take a look at how this compares to other purples in the range now these swatches are roughly kind of um, broken into color groups very roughly because of course some will fall onto the next page as such as happens with villainous potion so the per from the purples we have uh the villainous potion has fallen into the browns but it doesn't matter so we've got the dark dark purple there i've laminated these and i laminated them in a matte laminating pouch so they don't have the shine and the glare but that does mean you get ever such a slightly frosty look to these colors so you have to consider that uh without being laminated these would be a touch brighter than they are here okay and that, you can clearly see that just here so villains potion the deepest darkest purple and if we come to the other purples of course i mean it's going to be a very quick comparison here there is nothing nothing even similar i will just pop to the blues as well just to compare for you so even the blues the purple is much darker than even the darkest blues it's a fabulous rich color that has nothing i don't think nothing similar probably black soot is the closest so let's do a color combination now this one is going to be like I say tonal and that means going from light to dark within the same color group so I've got my dark villainous potion and I'm going to go into dusty concord next now I do have all of the distress oxide colors I'm under the impression there should be one more release to complete the range I don't know when that will be it's been a while since we've had a release um, but once that one has released I believe that's it then for the entire collection I hope that's still going to be happening but we shall see so this is Dusty Concord again does have its own video within the playlist so you can go and check that out 
any of these colors that you see here let me just have a quick look through yep all the colors I'm using today have their own videos so if you like the look of one in particular you can go back and see what else I've blended that with in the past so I've just blended my solid a dusty concord there now dusty concord in the name it's got dusty in it I always call it dusky by accident but it is dusty concord um, you do have more um, pigment in this one it's the pigment that sits on top and that's what gives it that cloudy look uh, that sort of frosted look or powdery look and I find that a quite high content of that in the dusty concord so um, often that sits on top and it can make it a little harder sometimes to blend because you sort of almost see the pigment moving around on the um, swatch or on the paper rather than blending so just to be aware of if you find you're having issues and you can you're really struggling to get a nice blend with dusty concord you're not alone they could just be that that color has a high content there of the pigment so because villainous potion is so strong i'm being careful about blending this in now i think this is actually despite this these being quite similar colours. I think this is going to be a bit of a difficult one because Dusty Concord is, like I say, it has that powdery element to it, which you can really clearly see. The opacity is very high. So when it's blended over other colours, you can really see it. So blending makes it a little bit harder. But also, because Villainous Potion is so dark in the opposite, the opposite way, it's just quite hard. Do you know, it's not too bad. I'm being very gentle, lots of ink on both sides, but only blending a small portion there. I think that's not, I think that's about as good as we're going to get with those two. A little bit of paper there. So, yeah, that's actually quite nice, isn't it? That's lovely. If you were doing, whether it's Halloween or not, it doesn't really matter. You can, you can kind of see that pigment where it's on top there. Um, but it does all dry and when it dries you do get a smoother finish um, so do allow that to dry um, before you decide whether you're going to use it on your project if you're not entirely happy with it I'm going to put the lid back on my villains potion and I'm now going to come to shaded lilac which is the pale pale lilac pale purple this one has a hint of blue in it as well I think so we, this could lead you into a combination with some blues if you wanted I think I'd definitely be taking this then into something like tumble glass so let's pop this on the end just here there we go really juicy ink pad this one and then gently start working that in towards seedless preserves if you just do small circles so my brush the line, the actual seedless preserves, is probably only coming up to here, that area, as, as I'm blending. So just tiny little circles and just see how easily that ink starts being dragged up into the shaded lilac. And then if you feel like you need more, which I do, I think I need more dusty concord. Start with what's on your brush first of all. Always place your brush into the solid colour first. And then again, start working along that line, only just overlapping into the other colour. And go back and forth like this until you're happy. Now I've not added any additional colour there and I think that's blended absolutely fine. I haven't had to add more. If I added more, I've then got more to try to blend. Um, that's something that... They've blended okay, they're not perfect, I'm not thrilled with that, but I think if you were to splat a little bit of water over there, in fact I talk about that a lot, let's show you that, I should talk about this in all my videos, if you're not happy with a blend completely, a little splat of water can make all the difference, so you've got a few options, you could just do a light mist, which is just like so, that starts to give you a little bit of mottling, just a tiny bit. Okay, so just wait. I, think this, I mean, that doesn't take long to dry at all. Then you could flick, and this gives you bigger blobs. This is very unpredictable, but you'll see straight away. Let me just pop a piece of kitchen towel over that and lift that up so you can see immediately the difference that that makes. There we go. So now already we're not looking at the blending because we've got all those different other colours in there. Now, another option for you. I will just do this one. 
I don't do it often. I've done it in one or two videos. I think I did it more on my Christmas one. If you watch the Christmas combinations video, I did this. I'm actually going to fill this with water to give you another option for adding water to help with your blends. So I'm going to put a lot of water over the entire surface and allow those inks to merge into each other. So you can see straight away it's reactivating that ink. And I'm just going to then leave those. You can see that um, that villainous potion creeping up into the Victorian velvet, or sorry, not it looks Victorian velvet when it's sprayed like that, into the dusty concord. And then it, the dusty concord is coming up into the shaded lilac. Now, this is obviously not going to give you those perfect straight blend lines. You're going to get all sorts of different colours going on here. But I'm going to leave that to dry and we'll come back to that at the end and see what that then looks like. So the second colour combination in this video, Villainous Potion, is going to be some of my favourite colours. So pinks, purples and turquoises. So I was tempted to do a proper Halloween um, colour combination with maybe some oranges or twisted citron, some lime greens in there, something like that. But I thought, you know what, you can go online, you can probably search an awful lot of colour combinations with like that, similar to that, using Villainous Potion. Whereas actually I'm going to give you maybe a slightly different one that you won't find online. So starting, of course, with Villainous Potion, just there. Let's just wipe the mat because we're going into Seedless Preserves, which is more of a pink. It sits within the purples. We do have a video for this one, so go and check that out. Uh, if you're a bit confused about where Seedless Preserve sits, um, I kind of explain my opinion in that video and give you some lovely colour combinations, of course, too. But these two works so perfectly together so this kind of okay maybe it is a purple because they work so well together there we go so though look those two have just blended absolutely beautifully on their own again just give my mat a white because i'm not going into another pink or purple i'm actually going into peacock feathers this time so peacock feathers is a turquoise green now I'm going to go into Pine Needles, which is more of a green, but Peacock Feathers is that blue-green, which I'm hoping will blend nicely with the Seedless Preserves because it's got that, um, technically being a purple should have a bit of a blue content with it. Um, this is a little bit of a gamble putting these two together because I just think anything that is derived from red and green, so you could say this is within the red family and this is within the green family, you tend to get mud in the middle, brown in the middle. So, like I said, a little bit of a gamble if you're mixing the two, but we'll see how they work. I'm hoping with that blue content we won't get too much. In fact, I think we might get more of a purp another purple between the two. And, oh, yeah, it looks like that's what's happening. So let's put that solid colour down first. Yeah, so we've got an additional purple between the two there. So I'm actually quite pleased with that because I didn't want the muddy colour. So we've kind of gone from Villainous Potion, Seedless Preserves, almost another purpley, bluey purple colour there. And then let's take this into a true green and go into Pine Needles. Just almost like a twilight, northern light sort of... Um, I'm not even going to say the word. The, the pretty sky patterns and colours. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> What's it, Aurora? Something. Anyway, I know what it. I know what it is. I just can never say it. I always say it wrong, so I'm not going to. But yeah, the pretty colours in the sky, all the different rainbow colours, gorgeous mermaid colours as well. So just popping pine needles down, a beautiful dark green with a hint of blue in it. I think. Pop that down, nice solid. Fill that end up, and then what's left on my brush, we'll come back just there and blend that in that's blended beautifully so easily no work needed at all there look at that isn't that just lovely a little bit of dampness here that will dry clean itself up beautiful dark deep rich colors uh, using that villainous potion now let's take a look at the one that we covered in water to do a different type of blend with 
so there we go that's how that blend looks when you cover it in water and allow it to just do its own thing but i think that's absolutely beautiful for a background and of course you've got your more sort of solid uniform blend lines on this example instead but either way i hope you enjoy using villainous potion don't forget to check out the playlist with all those other colors that i've mentioned just here and i'd really love it if you could subscribe to my channel if you like this video and you can do that just here thank you everybody take care i'll see you again very soon